Hey everyone, before the video, I just want to draw your attention real quick to the All Things Nerd membership channel. Um, I've introduced memberships to the channel, and uh, you can get it for $2.99 a month. You get exclusive emojis, titles, and uh, you get photos and status updates, early access to OOB content, you get reply uh, priority reply to comments, and you actually get access to a special chat in the Discord, in the ATN Discord, where it's for members only, where I'll be sharing early sneak peeks of videos and photos and whatever else you guys want to share in there. So it's just another way you can support the channel. It's only $2.99 a month, and I already have four members, so thank you to those members who have already joined. And uh, yeah, if you decide to join in the future, I would love to have you. Thanks. Welcome back, all things nerd. Welcome back to another video, all you fans of nerdiness. <laughs> As always, my name is Nathan. Welcome back to exploring the world of Azeroth in World of Warcraft. Today's adventure leads us to the gate of the Setting Sun Dungeon in Mist of Pandaria. I am very excited to go explore this place as I've never been outside this dungeon yet. This is my first time, so everything's gonna be new and everything's gonna be a shock value, just like you guys are seeing with me today. So I have not explored outside this dungeon, so I'm not sure where to start. We'll probably start on the right side, but before we do, I just wanna say this credit goes to True Hero as he was the one to get outside the dungeon first and uh, break out. So props to True Hero on breaking out. I don't know if I actually used this method, but I uh, got out pretty simply with just using um, a toy, so. <clears throat> now, excuse me. Before we begin, I just want to mention real quick to everybody that I have introduced ATN membership to the channel. If you'd like to support All Things Nerd and have some exclusive cool perks like badges and titles and all that good stuff, you can for $2.99 a month. I currently have three members at the moment, which is awesome and i never expected that to begin with so thank you to my members who have currently joined if you'd like to support the channel in another way that's just another option uh it's only 2.99 a month and uh yeah you'll get some really cool exclusive stuff uh also coming up i'm going to be showing how to break out of dungeons in another way um I'm going to be working on a Patreon page where I'll be giving people access to an exclusive blog of OOB where you can learn all the secrets and tricks and stuff like that to break out of dungeons. So if you want to know today how I broke out of Gate of the Setting Sun, that is going to be in the blog. Uh, so if you want access to that blog, it's going to be on my Patreon page. And that's just another way that you can support the channel and keep all things nerd going. So anyways... Let's get right to the video and let's start exploring. Now we're gonna head out to the right side. Now, just like I told you guys in the beginning, I have never been out here and I don't know what's a death wall, what's not a death wall, where's the DC. So we're gonna spend some time exploring around and seeing exactly where we need to go. As you guys know, uh, we are currently in the beginning of the dungeon. We just started up there and we're down here. Now let's go take a look around and see what they keep. They do seem to keep a lot of architecture out here, which I'm very excited to see because as they actually keep the statue to the, um, uh, what's it called? Veil of Eternal Blossom out here. So you can actually see the two statues going into the Mogushan Palace. So that's exciting. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get surrounding here the Valley of the Four Winds. We're gonna see some of Kun Lao Summon, I believe. The Dread Waste. I mean, there's a lot to explore. Tong Lao Steps. And uh, there's just gonna be a lot to see. So let's go take a look around. Now, I do apologize. If I forget some of the stuff that we're looking at, please correct me in the comments. As you guys know, I'm not a big lore buff. So um, I don't pronounce stuff properly sometimes, and it's not on purpose. It's just part of uh, me not being a, you know, big, huge World of Warcraft hardcore player. I just play more for fun. Uh, oh, here we go. So coming up, we have our first river going down from the beautiful waterfall seen here. Wow, that's a... love that. Look at that. I'm going to take a screenshot. That's a beautiful screenshot there. And speaking of screenshots, I'm going to be hosting a OOB screenshot contest coming up here in the next few weeks. I'm excited for that because it's going to allow people who also love OOB to show off their artwork. So please stick around for that. I'll have more details to come in the community post. All right, coming up here outside, we're going to see a half-broken statue. Let's go take a closer look up here. 
That is really neat. That's cool that they keep that outside. Now, unfortunately, I can't read that. I don't know what that says. So I don't know exactly who this is. It looks to be like some sort of general guy. But let's go walk up here. And as you can tell, they do keep a quiet a lot of stuff out here for places that you're never supposed to see in the dungeon to begin with. Excuse me, I had to mute my microphone for a minute. I think I got hiccups coming on, unfortunately. <laughs> that sucks. I hate hiccups. They always hurt. Uh, hiccups are the worst. So here we go. We got the entrance to the Veil of the Eternal Blossoms coming up here. Look at that. They keep the both statues going in. And I wonder how much they actually keep back there. We're definitely going to go take a look and find out. But let's go see what we can find. Now let's go take a little side stroll up this pathway first. I just want to thank everybody, by the way, who's been supporting the channel thus far. Uh, we are, I'm hoping to get to 10,000 subs by the end of this year. That is the next goal on the list. But I just want to say thank you to everybody who's been supporting the channel with likes, comments, subs you know, everybody's been subscribing and just amazing stuff you guys have been posting and all the encouragement. I love reading your guys' comments and hearing things like, Nathan, I come home and I watch your videos because it helps me relax and just... Um, it calms me and it's awesome and it's like that is so cool to hear and that's a big encouragement so thank you so much to everybody who's been doing that uh you guys are awesome and that's that just brings joy to my heart that these videos are calming people and allowing them to come home and relax and eat dinner with and just listen to so i i wouldn't be here without you guys and that just uh warms my heart and uh thank you so much so uh as we come up the path here we can see that there is some I don't know. We got like some clay pots going on out here. We also got a cool looking tree. I love the red. Red's actually my favorite color, so that's really awesome to see. We also got a tombstone going on. Now, I'm assuming this is a graveyard. If you die, your spirit gets released here. So let's keep walking up the steps, and we got this beautiful lush garden going on. I had mentioned this before, but Miss of Pandaria OOBs are definitely some of my favorite. Oh, we do got a cave. Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. Let's see what's in here. Do we discover? Nope, which is a normal cave, but we do got a cave. <laughs> Look at the cool looking poles going on up here. That's a trippy ceiling. I was going to say, Missa Pandera is definitely some of my favorite OOB settings in all of the World of Warcraft, just because it's so lush, so beautiful. I love the colors everywhere. I just thought Blizzard did a great job with Pandaria. I'm very excited to explore more uh, OOB of it and Out of Bounds. So we kind of get a closer look up the statues. We're definitely going to go walk that way. But let's go take a look right first and go up these mountains here. We'll go Uncle Rico. All right. We don't have to use Fell Rush yet. We might have to use Fell Rush right here, though. Yep. There we go. Oh, we do got kind of like a back little hidden garden going on back here. That's really neat. Look at that. Got like some Pandarian shrine going on with some fruit out in front of it. And, like, it's burning some incest. So that's really neat. But let's go walk out this way. Ah, we missed. Oh, okay. But we landed. <laughs> Alright, so unfortunately they don't keep all of the Veil of Eternal Blossoms back here. Man, that's kind of disappointing. I was hoping they would. They do keep a quite a large chunk of it, though. So that's really disappointing. So they do keep up to like here to where the Siege of Ogremar entrance would be down here. So it is quite big, but uh, not all of it, unfortunately. All right, let's go take a look over here at these mountains. And let's go take a look and see what exactly is hiding back here. Now, I heard of rumors that there's actually some hidden, really neat stuff outside of the, this dungeon here. So I'm excited to see what all it has to offer. Wow. Whoa, okay, so they do keep a lot of the Valley of the Four Winds back here. Interesting. Look at that. It's cool to see everything, like, despawned. That's really neat. Oh, and then we do got the untextured gray space going on. Can we get some untextured cubes in the chat? <laughs> if anybody can spam, any of the members are here. You know what? We got to do it. Let's go fly down here. And if we got to go back up and climb the mountains, I'll just cut the video and 
I'll uh, meet you guys back up there, but let's definitely go fly down here and check out all these different lush colors going on. Look at that. You got some purple, some really bright green. That looks kind of like Emerald Dream type green. It's really neat to see everything that's been despawned and not living out here anymore, especially in the OOB. Normally everything's supposed to be here with all the, uh, you know, you got like the fields and the, the buildings and all that. I love the orange color too. Wow, see, that's what I'm saying about Miss Pandaria OOBs. They just got some really cool colors going on out here. So if you guys like colors, you like seeing different artwork, definitely come out here and check out OOB from Miss Pandaria. You just got some really bright stuff going on and really awesome artwork. Now, unfortunately, it does look like we're gonna have to go back up the mountain. Ooh, what is that sticking out? Okay, we gotta go check and see what that is. I think that's just the hole in the ground. Ah, I know what that is. It looks like just the cave, but the caves have despawned. As you can tell right over here in the distance, the cave is actually despawned and you can't go inside of it. So normally where there's supposed to be homes and stuff and all that, look at, look at the big hole in the wall or hole in the wall, hole in the ground. And some of the texture's actually slipping down here. So that's what that is. Wow, that's really far away. I'm surprised we can see that. You know, I gotta say, it's a big joy uh, making these videos for all of you. I really have a good time and I love this channel and I just want to thank again everybody who's been supporting it. You know, it really brings me a lot of joy to do this and it's a lot of fun to bring you guys commentary and things that I get to explore and see because really I am. I'm just an explorer. Uh, I'm not a highlight video maker. <laughs> I'm just a, a OB explorer and I want to go see things outside of bounds and see what Blizzard hides because I love World of Warcraft just as much as you guys and I'm here to, you know, see what's outside these maps. So as we can tell, we're coming up to what I was kind of talking about. You can kind of see the cave that's empty. So normally you're supposed to be a cave right here, but as you can tell, there's nothing inside of it. We can look. Look at that. That's a cool view. Ah, okay, this popped back in. So unfortunately we can't get all the way. Now, the question is, can we climb this mountain is the real question. I'm assuming we can. There we go. So far, so good. All right, maybe we don't have to cut the video if we can climb up pretty quickly. I don't want to have to keep you guys, um, you know, waiting and watching me as I do this. Because <laughs> I know sometimes this stuff can take a while. So let's actually go ahead over this way. Now, a good thing is... Oh, okay. I think we can just go around. Yeah, we can just walk around. All right. Silly me. Well, let's just go around here. Let's head up here. All right. All right. All right. There we go. Ooh, got to be careful, though. We got some more hole in the ground there. So we got to be careful where we're walking. I do want to get back to where we were because I want to go check out the... Uh, Veil of the Eternal Blossoms over here. We got to check out Valley of the Four Winds, which is really neat. But I do want to go back up so we can go see what's back there. And see if the hole in the ground for the entrance of uh, the Siege of Ogremar maybe is there. That'd be kind of neat to see, actually. Oh, can we make our way up here? I think we can. Yeah, there we go. All right. Um, I think we can just jump down here. Yeah, I don't think this is a dead end. Okay, good. Ooh, this is the OB is really helping us out. I remember I did the, uh, Storm Stout Brewery OB, and I, I hated that map. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest with you guys. That was not my favorite video. There was like, oh man, that was so hard to get around in that video because there were so many mountains you had to climb to get to where I wanted to go. And the payoff just wasn't amazing. So unfortunately, that happens sometimes. You're going to be doing OB and not everything's going to be this grand old adventure. Sometimes it's just not going to be worth it. But uh, yeah, that was not my favorite video I ever did. And a lot of time went into that video because of just trying to climb the mountains and stuff to get into the Vale of Eternal Blossoms. All right. It looks like unfortunately we have hit a dead end. Maybe we can go around. 
That way is going to be the edge of the world. And if we try to go over here, we might get in a DC loop. So we do need to be careful here. No, that just drops off completely off the edge of the world. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to head back this way. All right, guys. I'm going to go make my way back up because I got to do some climbing here. But I don't want to have to have you watch all the boring stuff. So I will be right back. All right, everyone. We are back. We officially made it up the mountain. I had to climb and do a little bit of OB trickery to get up here. But here's a final shot of the Valley of the Four Winds down here. So let's keep heading up back this way. Now, I know we were over there, but let's go ahead over here Why we're over here and go check out what's over here. You do see a path that's leading up here back into the Dread Waste and Talong Steps. And so let's go see what's going on over here. Now, you got some weird orange shade color going on. And I believe that's just from the um, Gate of the Setting Sun dungeon. And that kind of looks like you got Veil of the Eternal Blossom, so you see like the orange on top of the mountains over here. I think that's some of what's going on over here, so that's really neat that they got kind of the reshading color. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's a treat. Look at that. We get to see the dungeon from the back side here. Look at that. You can kind of see inside of here as well. Now, I'm not going to go fly down there because I don't want to spend time um, climbing back up again. Uh, it does take a minute, so... I'm just gonna go around as much as I can here. Give you guys a shot of what's going on. We're gonna go around these mountains here. And you know, I need an Uncle Rico emote. I haven't done that yet. Now, I don't know if I can make this. Maybe. Nope. Shoot. Okay. Well, that's okay. I think we can go up here. I was trying to make that jump, but I failed, so. Oh, here we go. All right, little pathway up here. Not too bad. This should lead us back up. I'm assuming this should lead us back up. Okay. Woo. Almost lost it again. What are you doing, Nathan? Oh, gosh. What is this? Game just messing with me now. I think we can get up there, maybe? Okay. So, we're going to have to find another way here. <laughs> That's so sad. Okay. Apparently, we're just going to have to wait for our second fell rush. So, while we're waiting, let's, uh, I don't know. Turn into another character here with our coin of many faces toy. There we go. Ah. All right, let's wait for our next foul rush again. Or actually, I think we can just get over there. There we go. All right, people, where there's a will, there's a way. Now, it looks like we're getting on the back side of the dungeon here. This is really neat. So here we go. So normally, this is the entrance of the dungeon right here. So you can see that's where we started. So there goes the very beginning. So the, the, the wall does go all the way down this way. And they do keep a lot of the dreadways back there. But I want to get back to the Veil of Eternal Blossom. So let's go head back out this way again. And let's go take a look on what's kind of going back in the Veil. Alright, so we made our way around. So let's go out this way. And let's go take a look. Now, we are currently an orc demon hunter, so that's cool. Because we did our coin of many faces toy. <laughs> so let's go take a look out this way, and let's go take a look and see what's going on. All right, we are passing the beautiful waterfall that we saw in the beginning. And we got all this orange, beautiful colors popping. So I do play in 4K, and my monitor is just so beautiful. It is an IPS panel. I don't have an OLED panel. Uh, which I'm kind of sad about. I wish I would have invested in an OLED panel. So maybe in the future. But it still is beautiful to see all these colors pop brightly in 4K. Here we go. Let's go get a better look at these statues coming up. It's really awesome that they keep these things out here. Oh, 
Awesome, awesome, awesome. Love that. I should get a screenshot of that. There we go. Talk about OOB awesome art, huh? Now, unfortunately, we can't mount up out here. I wish we could. Some dungeons allow you and some don't. But we haven't found a spot where we can mount up yet. So, unfortunately, we're not able to mount up. But we can definitely go walk under these statues and see what's going on here. Now, I'm going to turn off my mic for a minute, and I'm going to give you guys just a little bit of a taste of the music and the ambience as we're walking along. It's beautiful. Now, we finally made it to the Veil of Eternal Blossoms. Alright, that was a little bit of a detour going through the Valley of the Four Winds, but that's okay. So normally, over here, I believe, is supposed to be the central hub area for the uh, Siege of Ogremar. So it's definitely weird not having um, all of the buildings and stuff here, but I don't think they keep the raid entrance down here. Let's We can kind of go take a look and see. I love the music going on. It's very, like, dramatic. Oh, here we go. So we do got the edge of the world. Kind of what we were seeing over there. Remember when we were peeking around the corner? But we definitely don't want to drop down there. But let's go walk up this way. And let's go take a look at the right side of the map now. Since we got already got kind of the left side already done. So this is a huge OOB. So we got a lot to explore out here, guys. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, being an orc is driving me crazy because I'm Alliance, baby. I'm not Horde. I don't play Horde. What am I thinking? So, sorry all you Horde players. I'm an Alliance player, so I'm going back to my Night Elf. <laughs> drives me crazy playing the Horde. Now, they do got these beautiful flowers out here. I love... This is what I love about the Miss Pandaria OB. It's just so beautiful. Look at that. I'm kind of laughing at myself because I say it's beautiful, but you got like these horrible, poorly designed pixel art. <laughs> I'm like, it's so beautiful, guys. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that's just me, but I like it. I just love the colors out here. I just think they did such a great job dropping Miss Pandaria. So good job, Blizzard. I think you did great. Now, I would climb this mountain here, but that's going to take a while. So we're going to take the little side path and just walk around here because I don't think there's much back there anyways just more untextured gray space but it's okay because we get a beautiful OB and we get to keep walking and I get to spend more time with all of you which I'm happy about I've noticed a lot of my Miss Pandaria OBs have just been walking, unfortunately, and not mounting up. So, that kind of sucks, but that's okay. Alright, so we got the other side of the Veil of the Eternal Blossoms going on over here. And they do leave another statue. Wow, so there actually is a lot more out here than I have anticipated goodness gracious this is huge look at this oh my gosh they keep a lot of this out here what the heck my goodness hey look at that we got a floating like lamp huh that's neat look at the statue too wow so they keep a ton out here this place is massive all right, I thought there wasn't going to be as much out here as there was, but look at that. Look at that all in the distance, all mountainside. So we got a lot to explore out here today, guys. But let's just keep on going. Keep on trucking. 
if you need to pause the video and take a break i don't blame you because there's a lot more to explore out here look at that oh my gosh so neat look at all the man i love the art and like the colors coming off the side of the mountains and it is so awesome back here look at that down there Ooh, don't want to fall off the edge but man you get some cool like shots now my real question is can we fly over there because that seems to be a whole separate like part of the map over there that reminds me a lot of the um the Udegard keep Udegard keep or whatever in um Fowling forge in northern remember that video and there was like a whole another side of the map over there and it was like a copy of the dungeon I wonder if that's kind of the same thing, but they got some wild stuff going on. The only thing is, I don't know if we can reach it because it's pretty cut off from the rest of the map here. But I do want to get over there. Now I'm curious on what's actually over there because it looks very like untextured space. Look at all the gray going on. Oh, guys, this is awesome. All right. I did not expect this outside of this dungeon here. So if we can get over there, that would be fantastic. Let's definitely try to find a way. All right, so it looks like we are on the back side of the dungeon here. What is that? I am curious what's over there now. This is the this is the cool part about OOB right here. You get to find really a lot of cool hidden gems out in the distance. Now, I don't know if the if the world curves around here so we can walk over there, maybe. Let's go find out. Ah, it sucks we can't mount up. Oh, look at... Oh, look at that! What is that spell? M... A... Okay. Man... Mantis. Oh, it spells Mantis. Oh, fun. Alright, I've never seen a hidden message outside of a dungeon yet. This is really neat. Alright, guys. This is really cool. Sorry I'm all nerding out over here. <laughs> But this is awesome. Look at that. All right, we're going to have to come up here and get a screenshot so we can... That's really awesome. Wow, this turned out to be a really awesome OOB. Now, a lot of you may have already seen what's out here, so you're probably like, Nathan, I've already seen that. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I know, I'm kind of late to the party here. I definitely want to get a screenshot of that. I love the hidden messages. See, that's what I want Blizzard to do. Look at that thing. Is that like the last boss? I don't remember. I haven't done this dungeon in a long time. But I definitely want to see... Ooh, can we get on top of there? Ooh, gosh. I guess what's the worst that can happen? Oh, nice. We can. And we discovered the Serpent Shrine. Look at that. Love it. Alright, that is so cool. Guys, look at this. I love the hidden messages from Blizzard out here. Mantis. I wonder what that's supposed to mean. I'm assuming because, like, the bugs are mantises out in this dungeon. Wow, this turned out to be a really cool OB. All right. I still want to see what's over there. So let's go see if we can make our way out there. Sorry, guys. I'm all, like, fangirling out here in my OOB. Um, can we make our way out there is the question. It looks like the map cuts off. The problem is, I don't think we're high enough to fly over there, but we gotta attempt it, don't we? Because I don't think we're gonna get any higher. Oh, there's no way. I want to get up there, though. Really want to get over there and see what's over there, because that looks really neat. Um, Shoot. I don't think we can fly over there. Maybe. If we get on top of the tree, I think we could fly over there. We could definitely make that. So let's go see if we can get on top of the tree. Make our way over to that side. But let's keep going on with this OB. Sorry, guys. I'm all getting distracted here. Alright, let's keep walking. That was an awesome. I love the hidden message outside the map here. Mantis. Alright, that's cool. Look at this. Love the OB. Now the question is, can we get on top of the tree to fly over there? 
which I think we can. It looks like you can get up there. So let's go fly down here and see what's down here first. And let's go take a look and see if we can... Ooh, we do got some flags out here. Look at that, that's creepy. All right, let's keep going this way. And un good thing we haven't ran into a death wall yet. You know, knock on wood. But I'm glad we haven't done that yet, so that's good. All right, guys, we got to climb this tree, right? Because we need to get on top to see if we can fly over to that space over there. I really, I, you know, I'm so curious on what's actually over there now. Now, I think, oh, we go through the tree. No. Oh, that sucks. So you can't actually get on top of the tree? Aw, oh, man. That's so dumb. That's really saddening. Does this all just go through? Oh, no. Why? All right, well, I guess we can't do that, so we're gonna have to find a backup plan. The thing is, too, is I don't know if we can make that. Unless we get on top of that tree, which it doesn't look like we can, unfortunately. There's no way we can make that. Such a big gap that uh, I don't think we can fly out there. That is so sad. That just ruined. I was so happy to get on top of that tree, but nope. Look at the giant acorn. That's neat. I like that. Or whatever that is. Okay. So, let's take a look if maybe we can fly over there in another way. So let's go head out this way. We gotta attempt to get over there. I feel like there's some really neat hidden stuff back there that we're not able to see. And we just need to get over there. But that's really disappointing because if we could have gotten top of that tree, we definitely could have flown over there for sure. My question is, I don't know what that is in the distance. Is that supposed to be like Isle of Thunder and all that? Look at that. There is some really neat hidden stuff over there. I can just tell. So what's over there? I don't know, but I feel like we at least need to attempt to fly over there just once. And if we don't, we don't make it. That's okay. I got the campfire. I got a backup plan. So, and then if we don't make it. Uh, maybe I'll try again off camera. See if I can find a way over there. But, ooh, maybe this tree can give us a little bit of a. Because if we can make it to at least this little gap over here, we can definitely get over there. But we got to get up as high as possible. That's the question. Ah. All right, we're sucking here. Let's wait for our second fell rush again. Because I feel like if we get on top of this tree, we might have a shot. Ah, man. If we can even get on top of this tree. Good night. Okay. Let's try this one more time. Oh. I'm being dumb. We can just fly over here. This is as big as the tree, I think, right? Actually, yeah. Actually, this is better up here. Oh, no. There's no way. Guys, I don't know if we can fly over there, sadly. But I really want to. Because if we can just make that gap right there. The problem is we need to get up higher. Like, we need to get... That tree would have been perfect for flying over there. But it's hollow. Well, not all of it was hollow, right? So maybe. Alright, guys. I don't want to have to continue to watch me do all this. So I'll be right back. Let me see if I can find a spot to fly over there. All right, guys, we are back. We're going to go try to attempt to fly in that little crevice over there. So I have a plan here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to slow fall potion it across. So maybe, maybe if we're lucky enough, we can do this. So here we go in three, two, one. Nope, we lost our momentum. 
Nope. That's not gonna work. I was an idiot. I didn't pop slow fall fast enough. I should have popped it right away. So, well, that's out of the question. <laughs> that was a stupid attempt. All right, guys, we are back again. I apologize, but <laughs> after five unsuccessful attempts with the slow fall potion, I couldn't make it to the other plot of land across the way. I'm definitely going to be doing more attempts to see what's actually over there because I'm very curious now. I'm sure they're hiding some good stuff, but let's go take out a look a look at the left side of the map and then let's go end the video so let's continue our tour now we do got some bone piles going on down here which is really kind of scary look at that and if we keep going down we can go into the dreadways here Ooh, and some more bone piles look at that I think normally this is supposed to be water, so you don't normally see what's down here. So this is kind of neat to look at. Unless I'm wrong. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe someone can correct me. You know, I'm really sad. I wanted to see what was across the way from that other landmass outside of the map, but... Unfortunately... I just couldn't make it with my slow fall. I thought I almost was successful a couple times, and then I just kept falling, so... I need to get up higher. If I can get up on top of one of these trees, I could definitely make it, but the trees are hollow, so they don't allow you to actually jump uh, on top of them. You just walk straight through them, so that kind of sucks. Because if I could get on top of one of the trees, oh, I could definitely make it way farther outside the map, but I don't think that's going to be the case, so we're just going to have to be appreciative of what we have, I guess. Now, as we're coming from the backside, you can see the last boss over there in the distance uh ragon so he actually spawns behind that gate and every once in a while you'll actually see him despawn and then he'll like run into the gate again there he goes he just ran to the gate oh look at this we do got some neat stuff back here look at all that do we walk through these or we okay we can actually jump on top of these Ooh, this is kind of neat so this is actually the entrance to the heart of fear raid if you guys remember Oh, look at that. I'm glad we didn't jump down there. Look at that giant hole in the wall behind us. So this is actually supposed to be the Heart of Fear. And I wonder if this is actually an early concept look at it. Because you can tell. Look, it's like unmodeled, untextured stuff going on over here. With like the stair steps and all that. Oh, this is really neat, actually. I didn't even know this was back here. Wow, cool. Alright. They do got the Heart of Fear dungeon. Or the raid, I should say. And look at these random light poles just hanging out down here. What's that all about? Huh. Just chilling under the tree, I guess. What else is back here? This is really neat. But nothing too much, but you can see inside the tree a little bit. Let's actually go head out this way. Let's go over here, and it looks like there is some more. Oh, okay, so we were actually inside of the tree the whole time. Look at that. Here's the staircases and all that. They're not rendered fully. They just got, like, gray textured staircases to the Heart of Fear raid. And it does go, and it looks like we did find the edge of the map here. Our dude is stuck in, like, a... There we go. We were stuck in, like, a attack position here. Look at that. Trying to give you guys a better look under the dungeon here. Kind of see under the map. Alright, let's go make our way out this way. Let's go see what we can find. You can still see the... The boss is so big, you can see his name in the distance there in red. Barely making it out. That's kind of fun. But I love that. That was really neat to see. Huh. Now, maybe we can climb that tree and try to fly over. Because this tree didn't allow us to climb on top of it. Or that tree over there, I should say. This has been a really fun OB. I know this is a long video. I just want to thank all of you who have stuck around and watched the whole thing. It really means a lot to me that you guys are into these videos and you love the OB. 
I'm going to be having a lot more events coming up this summer. I can't wait to host a Hearthstone tournament and um, just all different kind of stuff I want to do and do another like death run and the OB screenshot contest, the transmog contest, just a lot of cool stuff that's going to be happening. So stick around for all that. Um, I promise you guys there's going to be a lot more fun stuff coming from all things nerd and uh, congrats to Jedi as he won the death run for a hundred dollars. So that was really fun and true hero came in second place. So, so that was really cool to see. Look at this random just hanging moss out here in the distance. It's just chilling. Nothing hanging from it. No tree or limbs or anything. It's just by itself. Huh. All right, what else we got going on back here? I do want to get over there. So guys, I'm going to attempt to go over there more times, but I'm definitely going to do it off. And if I do, I'm able to successfully get over there. I'll definitely record and add on to the video because it kind of makes me upset that I can't get over there. I've been trying. The problem is even if I get on top of these trees, I think they're too far away to fly all the way over there. Maybe we can try though. And a lot of these trees you just walk through, unfortunately. Look at this. You got like a dripping mess going on back here. What's this all about? It's so amazing to me what Blizzard decides to keep outside of the map and what they choose not to. And you can walk on top of this tree. So this might be our opening, guys, to try to make it across the map there to get to the other side. If we can successfully get all the way up here, but... Anyways, guys. I'm gonna be ending the video here. It has been so much fun exploring the Gate of the Setting Sun dungeon. If you have never been out here, I definitely encourage you to do so. Missa Pandaria is such a beautiful place to do OOB. There's beautiful colors, beautiful scenery, and they just did such a great job. I want to thank everybody who's been supporting the channel. All the likes, the comments, you guys are amazing. And uh, as always, guys, my name is Nathan. I will catch you on the next one. Take care.